Wow! Hello everyone and welcome to Twin Joke. I'm Jacob Truman. Fuck, I'm Mike Truman. That really hurt. <laughs> that really hurt. We practiced that so much before. Don't make, don't say that. It will seem like... We're not professionals at knee slapping. No, it just is cooler. If, fuck it. It's not cool. The entire point is that it's not cool. Just before we get on to the, uh, the rest of the show, we'd like to let you all know that we have a Facebook page, Fratocrats Facebook page, if you could all like and, and you know, just share the shit out of all the videos on there. We try to up- update it regularly with stuff and updates and shiz. Mm-hmm. So do that. As it happens, it's actually our birthday tomorrow. I can't believe we're already one fifth through our life. We took a turn. One fifth? Yeah. You think you're, we're going to live to be 125? <laughs> There's a good chance. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have an attempt at doing something a bit different on this segment. Usually we do news joke, news joke. This time we're going to do a discussion-y type section. Like news joke in depth. Yes, exactly. Today we're going to talk about Nicole Arbour. If you don't know already, Nicole Arbour is a comedian who uploaded a video entitled Dear Fat People, which caused a lot of outrage. Would you say that's a fair term, Michael? People were outraged! A lot of people accused her of engaging in fat shaming, suggesting that the the, the points, the jokes that she made mm. were incredibly mean and unfair and untrue or inaccurate. Right. How do you feel about this, Mike? I t- completely understand why, why people have been offended. I completely understand why fat people want to take ownership of the, of the fact that they've been fucking bullied and downtrodden and mocked their entire lives. However, if you can say that Nicole Arbour is a comedian, which I'm pretty sure you can, you can say... You can make that argument very easily. Comedians can say what they want. They can't be sheltered from the consequences of saying what they want, but I would defend their right to say what they want. And people trying to make her life hell, other than just, you know, not watching her, like, films anymore, not watching her videos anymore, those guys are wrong. I think that anyone who is actually, you know, bombarding her with abuse or whatnot, that's just as wrong, and it's not the proper way to respond. I would disagree with you in that... Although, yes, she was making attempts at humour and she missed the mark, in between some of those jokes, she was making claims that weren't jokes, that weren't attempts at at comedy, that were just literally mean, inaccurate. Can you give me an example? Well, when she was saying that there's no such thing as fat shaming. Did she? Yeah. I watched that video and I didn't hear that. She said fat shaming is not a thing. That's like in the first 30 seconds. (laughs) Oh, how did you watch that video and not see that? I may have been like, like eating my breakfast <laughs> while I would watch it at, while I was at work. So to sum up, how do you feel about the controversy? Controversy. I think that comedians can say what they want to say. Uh, they shouldn't be harassed, but they shouldn't be protected from the consequences of if they offend someone. Everyone, people have the right to stop watching them. I can sum up my reaction in three words. What? You done goofed. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. This is rapid fire bullshit. Are you ready, Jacob? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Question one. What do you want to be when you grow up? Sean White. <laughs> the snowboarder? Yes. And skateboarder. All right. I saw, I, this doesn't need to be in. <laughs> Stop already. You've already freaked me out. Number two. Name one mammal that lives in the ocean. Dolphin. Question three. Name one mammal. Uh, polar bear. Question four. Name one. One. Question five, name. Jacob. (laughs) Question six, are you fucking starting, mate? Yeah. I'm fucking starting, mate. All right. Calm down. (laughs) Question eight. In football, the move whereby a player kicks or heads the ball to another player of the same team is called a... Pass. Okay, I'll go on to the next question. (laughs) Fuck you, that was so lame. Finish this quote from the 2001 box office hit The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, spoken by Gandalf the Grey as he and his companions are being chased by the Balrog through the mines of Moria. You shall not... Pass. Seems pretty simple. How do you pronounce the word that is spelled P-A-S-S? Pass. I don't know what's the problem. This is so (laughs) bad. It's really awful. I'm having fun. We we may have to retire this bit at some point, (laughs) or at least make a make a stay. Why? Because (laughs) I find this so much fun. You find this fun because you're a psychopath. (laughs) 
<laughs> because you're a sadist. You're gonna hate this. Well, fuck! <laughs> Come on. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> so it's liquidy. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Is that, is that fur? <laughs> you gotta make a guess. I have absolutely no, that's unlike anything I've ever felt before. You need to make it. I can't. I have no idea what that could be. There's some <laughs> shit on my fingers. Is it literally shit? No. I mean, my best guess would be some kind of dead animal and it's fur <laughs> and everything. No, it's a mixture of yogurt and hair. <laughs> you lose. I win. I'm so gratified by this. Whose hair is that? Is it yours? Yes. Oh, this wasn't as bad as a lamb's hair. But I'm not happy. And I didn't get a point. Thank you. You're so kind. Yogurt and hair. Can I have some more, please? Not yogurt, yogurt and, and hair. Yogurt and hair. Right, I just want to make an announcement. I recently figured out how I'm gonna top the lamb's head. And Jacob isn't scared. I enjoy this, this is a I, thrill to me. I assure you, he will absolutely load me <laughs> after it. <sighs> okay, this is mail. Cheer the fuck up, Mike! It's n look, I'm just a bit upset. I'm just a bit, <laughs> feeling a bit vulnerable. That wasn't as bad as a lamb's head, but yogurt and hair, nah, not, not a fan. Can you just introduce the fucking segment, please? This is mailbag. <laughs> Mailbag, where we answer all of your comments from our last video, and we're gonna go through some golden comments right now. Got that funk? Your parents are very lucky. Watching you two grow up must have been priceless. Yeah, they they weren't really of, of that of opinion. No. Thing is, Got That Funk is a bit of a hippy dippy weirdo. Okay. I know he won't take that in offence, because I know him. Our parents are literally the opposite of that. They're kind of like a less mean version of the Dursleys from <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Peach said, I love you guys. Seriously, you're both just cuddly sandwich makers. I don't know what that means. Me neither. What does that mean? Uh, women? Yeah. I thought it was like an offensive term for women. Dunstall Brejic said, <laughs> I hope Jacob gets extreme cancer and it drives him to live a fulfilling life, the bastard. And happy birthday, Mike, but not Jacob. Fuck you! Made by boys said, which drugs are the gay drugs? Poppers. Poppers. Mm -hmm. And ecstasy to a certain extent. Solved. <laughs> Moose of the world games. Right. Why is Jacob such a dick to Mike? That's a Just answer the question, Jacob. Just answer the question. Because you make me do it! He's a dick to me. He's just a dick off camera. He's a dick in subtle, insidious ways. You're fat. Why is everyone saying it was a butt slap? You obviously punched me in, yeah. the, in the thigh. Liz Java J said, that was a very aggressive butt slap there. Yeah, several people said, that's a butt slap. Or it I, wasn't a butt slap. I slapped you on the ass. You full on punched me in the femur. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see a slow motion replay. <laughs> So that's the show, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. I feel like this is going to be the shit one. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be the worst one so far. We've got great things coming up, particularly me, but I feel like this one we kind of dropped the ball. 